there was considerable shock over the way Karnataka politicians have behaved or misbehaved this week. From the BJP's Anand Kumar Hegre's communal comments to the Congress's Sida Ramaya's fury at a woman party worker. Well, young women in Bengaluru have told NDTV's Maya Sharma just how they reacted to these episodes and how it would play out on young voters like themselves in election year. It's not been a great time for politics or politicians in Karnataka. Politicians in the state have said and done things which have not shown them in a very good light at all. We've had the BJP's Anand Kumar Hegde, an MP, tweeting about the KPCC president saying, I only know him as a man who ran after a Muslim girl, presumably a reference to the fact that Dinesh Gundarao has married a Muslim woman. We've had former chief minister Siddharamaya of the Congress caught on camera furious, fighting with a woman, grabbing a mic from her and in the process inadvertently snatching off her dupatta as well. His fury is evident. Joining us, some young students, young women students from Bengaluru. For their take on this, how do they view this? And what does it tell them about politicians? You've seen what happened, you've seen those tweets, you've seen the video. Your response as a young woman seeing that kind of thing? Uh, so I think it's really degrading to women to be acting like this and politicians definitely are the face of our country and as young women when we look at who we want to vote for this is not a very ideal image for someone who should be representing us and who should be taking decisions that will probably I mean it's they'll be taking decisions that should benefit the welfare of our society and we are part of the society we are the people and we vote for people who will stand up for us and if this is the kind of people who are going to stand up for women one day and so their reaction to women is kind of, I mean, it's disturbing to see things like this, especially commenting about a married woman in particular is, it's not something that is acceptable. I mean, that is personal. I think politicians need to know how to like separate the personal from the political, though personal is obviously, it is political. Yeah, you have to be personally, it, you, yes, but definitely. this kind of comment. It's, it's not, not acceptable. And, and as a young voter, a person above 18 years old who looks to vote, uh, in the coming election, in the upcoming elections, it's definitely not a good image and it leaves you confused because, I mean, who do you vote for? <laughs> These are our leaders. How did you respond when you saw that video, when you saw that tweet? What was your response? It was actually very difficult to believe because the first time I came across, I was, it was, it's not, again, as she said, not acceptable. The fact that these people who are going to lead, who are currently the faces of our country, are saying things like that, are doing things like these, it just sort of leaves you, there's no words. So I don't know what to say because it's just so wrong. It's just also the fact that it, the comment on the religion, that is what got the most to me because in a country where everyone lives together and everyone should live together, Leaders saying things like these, hateful things like these, is just not right. Very really disappointing, I'm yes. sure, for you. Did you, were you surprised at the comments, or do you think that this is what politicians do, or were you shocked? I was shocked, to be honest. Um, I think there's some sort of decorum that you have to maintain when you're in a political space, or any professional setting, to, for that matter. Um, saying things without even thinking about it is just... It's just so degrading <laughs> and I'm honestly, I've lost hope on politics to be honest. Lost hope, it's made you lose hope totally. Completely, because it's all communal now. It's it's not, yeah, everything's about religion. There are parties that are catering to specific religions and okay. that's just, I think that's 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 wrong. And, and that communal, I, it came to the forefront with extremely those. Extremely, because they're very vocal about mm. it. There's nothing subtle. Um, they're very obvious. That's, that's sort of their USP now um, and you're just, it's it's not secular anymore. I don't think so. So it's made you despair of politics itself because of the way Tort religions are being completely, highlighted. Completely, completely. So it's just um, I, I I don't have any words. I'm just I, I'm just I've just lost hope. What was your takeaway from what? Um, it's it's kind of problematic. Um, uh, to put it mildly. Yeah, to put it mildly, it's very <laughs> problematic. Um, uh, I mean, it's uh, you, uh, you kind of you're, you're just like in awe of what they say. Sometimes you, you you're just like, how can they say things like this? Unbelievable, <laughs> unbe unbe unbelievable things. And um, and I'm not a person who uh, who I don't think I really want to vote for anyone at this point of time because stage. Yeah, have you voted before? No, and I don't I don't think I want to either. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because uh, mainly because I feel like. 
unless there, there's, I see proper change happening, I don't think I feel comfortable voting for anyone at this point of time. And how did you respond when you saw that video, when you saw those tweets? Did it shock you or did you feel it's business as usual when it comes to politics? So, in one way, it's not I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not surprised because things like this happen, but we're so far into, we're at, in an age where everybody is like supposed to be like responsible. We're talking about women empowerment and how people should be like conscious about what, what they're saying and what they're doing. Yes, and, yes. and even at this point, at this stage, if, in, in the middle of Me Too, in the middle of discussions yes. of feminism and women's rights. Yeah, at this point, if they're still saying things like this and they think it's okay to do that, and like everybody's saying, politicians are the face of the country. We look at these leaders, they make our decisions. And if it's still, at, I, I don't know where our country is going anymore. Yeah. Now, this is of course an election year. These are young voters. I think one of you has voted once. Have. You have voted once. The rest of you are all first time voters. So presumably you're going to be voting for the first time in these 2019 elections, even if you're not keen on what the choices are. When you look at things, would what has happened affect your choice as a voter you said it might, but would it affect your choice as a voter? And do you think voters at large will actually think of these things? Um, so I'm not sure, about, but I think I think the people who will be affected the most will be the young people who are looking to vote. Because okay. uh, if you look at the elderly population, I mean, they're pretty used to voting for the parties. They have a pretty set uh, impression of what the political parties so are doing. bad behavior from... If you're a BJP supporter or a Congress supporter, bad behavior by one politician may not affect them. In uh, it might affect if it comes directly before the elections and if it's a, it's made into a, okay. uh, if, it, it, if it receives prominence in the yes. media and things like that. But on the whole, like, I mean, if I think about my parents, I mean, they have a set party that they subscribe to and they are going they to will vote, vote, they will vote for them. But I think the people who will, I mean, this will affect the young population because they are actually looking to see what party should they vote for. And, and I believe that we all try to take a wise decision when it comes to voting. It's an important thing. It's a serious exactly. Thing. A conscious choice. Yes. So maybe I, I feel like it will affect the young uh, population and especially women because case in question like uh, being women. Yeah. So I think that these will be the, the, the people that will be affected by uh, the whole what situation. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think it will affect voters in general? Would it affect you if, it, if you had a candidate who had done or said something like this? Would it affect you even if they were from a party you liked? It would definitely affect me personally because that would it's just, it's so ridiculous that it would make you think about it again. And I think I agree with her because old people, they are set in their ways. It's very difficult to unlearn things. The way it's difficult to unlearn things, it's very difficult to see someone you like, a party you like, as someone who you might be wrong. You make excuses. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, we will get affected. I know most of us will, but for the older people, it's, it seems difficult. That. It seems difficult. Like you spoke about your disturbance on how things have become communal. Gender issues like this, yes. it could be seen that what happened was very disrespectful of women, whether it's Sidramaya, whether it's Anand Kumar Hegde. Do you think gender will be an issue in the elections? Will people think about it? Or is it just not as important as, say, other vote banks? Do women not count? Um, I think... I think it does count, like my other friends did mention. I think it depends on what age group you're from. So people who are aware of all of this, may it, it might affect them. But there are a lot of people who aren't. and Who don't know about it. Who don't even know about it. So they're going to be set in what, hmm. they, what, yeah, what they've been promised. Or okay. probably fakely promised. So I don't gender know. may not be... A, the fact of the may way politicians treat women or think about women may not be? Um, it may be in the cities, like mm -hmm. I said, and where people are mm -hmm. aware of this. But probably in the rural areas, I don't think so. Because um, women aren't given as many rights. They, don't, they aren't even aware of their rights mm -hmm. in many most rural areas. Mm -hmm. So this might not affect them, one, because they don't know. Mm -hmm. And second, because they, they, they don't know that they have those rights. They think it's okay. That's the way so we're treated. That, that's the way we're treated. So... Do you think it'll affect voting patterns as to who people vote for? Do you think it'll impact incidents like this? Um, like most of them mentioned, like it will impact the younger uh, generation rather than the older ones because mainly because the uh, older generation is more or less used to a lot of of these things which bad have <laughs> bad behavior, which has happened from time to time every other year. Yeah, it sort of normalizes this behavior, the because fact that so they've often. been seeing it 
since so many years everything is normalized so now they expect it to happen and when it happens it's not ridiculous like it is for us okay it's all new for you that yeah. you're seeing this kind of thing happen whereas it, it's still new for you whereas people who've seen bad behavior before may say it's all right. yeah <laughs> that's, that's really very sad what about you do you think that it will impact the way people vote or will it just be brushed under the carpet forgotten by the time elections come around or do you think the attitude towards women the behavior towards women will be a factor when you and others come to vote like i i'd like to think that it would be a factor but like like so i feel like the elections are coming a couple of months later right so i feel like by then all of this is going to die down people are going to okay. forget this and until the next episode yes and and they're obviously going to bring out excuses and explain themselves and maybe a lot of people who already trust in these parties will go back to thinking okay maybe they didn't mean it they meant it in some other way and like go back to thinking it's, it's, it's also interesting that the b- party bosses don't seem to have really come down very hard on them that that that's also a very interesting indication you know that yeah. so nobody nobody's doing anything about it and in a couple of days like everything that's happened till now in a couple of days this is also going to die down and then you're not going to think i i feel like we'd like to think that we will but a majority of the people are not going to think about oh that happened then in may and it was this guy i'm not voting for him i don't i don't think it's going to happen yeah thank you very much i mean thanks it's disturbing event certainly and these young people are disturbed by it it would impact they say the way they vote some even wondering whether they would want to vote given the choice of the people before them will voters keep it in mind when it comes to elections will they remember the behavior of these politicians some say yes some say maybe not because politicians have been known to behave badly but certainly the young women here unhappy with what happened unhappy with the way women were treated by senior politicians of Karnataka with Govind Murthy Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV